Hi, it's Tessa, and I'm here today because I wanted to talk a little bit about crafting. Um, years ago, I was a huge scrapbooker. I scrapbooked all the time, and as time progressed, people don't really develop pictures anymore. Everything's digital. I kind of got away from developing photos, kind of got away from scrapbooking, and um, all my supplies just kind of sat there. Well, the other day, I think I was on Pinterest, and I saw these file folder um, scrapbooks and different things you can make with file folders. And I was like, maybe I can get back into that. So, I'm going to show you what I made, and then um, it's just a work in progress. So this is the very first one I made out of a file folder, and you can keep like receipts in here, or coupons, and keep it in your purse, or you can put pictures in it. I'm going to put it in my purse, I think, for uh, coupons and receipts. So this is the first one I made. It's made out of a file folder, and it's decorated up with paper. And you just untie the bow here, and here's the back. And you just untie this bow. And it opens like a book. And this is this is the one that was a work in progress. And it's just like little pockets where you can put different things in. And I stuck little distressed library cards in it for like notes and journaling. So that was the first one I made. And I thought, oh, this is really fun. And I know I'm usually doing beauty channel stuff, but I'm a well-rounded girl. And I like crocheting, and I love crafts, and I'm always doing a project, um, a crafty type thing. So I made that one first, and then I decided to make one for my mom, and she's a very girly girl. She loves shopping and um, shoes and different things like that. So this is the one I made for her. It has a little purse on it. It says pretty. Here's the back. It has a little hat. This one I didn't distress, and this one I cut the tabs off the file folder so that it's flat. And hers, I glued two file folders together. So this is hers, and I put little tags in it. This one has a shoe, and I put a little library card in there for journaling, and she can do whatever she wants with this. Then I put little tags in, just empty. This one has a little picture on it, there's a little umbrella down here, and the last page I just filled with journaling papers so she can write or do whatever she wants with those. So that was the second one I made. And then I made two more. No, I didn't. I made a lot more. I'll show you them real quick. Um, let me tie this back up. So yeah, these are really fun. They take like an hour of your time if you have the supplies, which I did. <coughs> Excuse me, I have this terrible cough. And then I made this one. Again, it's distressed. And... It has more of like a traveling motif, motif with a little journaling card and letters and a bunch of journaling papers and a little saying. It says, we don't know who we are until we see what we can do. So there's that one. Then I made more of a floral girly type one. I went crazy with these. They were so much fun. This one says romance, and it has a little star and cards. More tags, lots of tags. This one says flowers always make people happier. And a bunch of journaling cards in the back back here. That's that one. And then I wanted to go a different route and do a more black and white. So I'm just playing around with these. Here's the black and white one just has designs on it and inside is just journaling papers and stickers and lots of journaling papers here. So that's that one. And I also had some um, paper bag albums that I decided to try one of those. Uh, after I started doing this, I realized I needed a tape runner. I, all I had was like that tacky glue and it wasn't working very well. Here is the one I made out of paper bag album, front and back. And I didn't finish it. It's just empty paper bags right now. But I didn't do anything else with it. I stuck in one 
photo mat, and that was it. But that's the work in progress. That's how that's going to look. And it's just paper bag pages. Every other page has a slot where you can put in stuff. But yeah, it has it's full of pages, and I just ran the ribbon through the holes that were punched in there. And then the very last one I did was a big album. And we went to Asheville, North Carolina in September this past year. And I did get some pictures developed recently. So I used a big file folder. I wrote Asheville and put a little tag on it. This is a work in progress too. So this is going to be a photo mat, which you can flip up and put pictures in. Then I put a photo mat up here, and then I put a bunch of little tags in, which you can put photos in, and I slip them all in the pocket, which I just made a pocket. So there's a bunch of that stuff in there. So that is that one, and then I put September 2013 in stickers, and here's the back. So that's a work in progress there. So that's everything I've been working on with that, and then yesterday I went and bought some scrapbooking stuff, and I'm going to film a haul to show you what all I bought. And thanks for watching. I'll see you again soon. Bye-bye.